papi. I want to make the pasta. Ma shut up! We make them both. Hey folks, I'm Matt from Fidel Gastros, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a hybrid brunch pizza using deo pasta and the frittata. Behold, the frittata. So this is actually a dish my nono and nono used to make for me all the time as a kid. When I was growing up, if you threw out any leftover pasta, you got a little butta, a little wooden spoon upside the head. So this is actually a great, fun way to take leftovers and turn into something completely different. First off, we're gonna make our sauce for the frippazza. We're gonna get a little bit of canola oil on the pan, we're gonna brown off some onions and garlic, and then we're gonna add our tomato sauce. Give that a quick stir, and reduce the heat. Add a little bit of dried oregano, a bit of salt. All right, so the trick to this dish is using pasta that was actually prepared the day before. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your leftover pasta, toss it with a little bit of oil and salt, and when you put it in the fridge, this will ensure that it doesn't stick together. So to bind our pasta together, to give it a pizza-like shape, we're gonna crack some eggs into it. And mix it thoroughly. So now that we have the pizza sauce cooking down, it's time to make the crust for our frippazza. We're gonna get oil in this hot, oven-ready pan, and then we're gonna take our pasta egg mixture and brown it off. So once we have a nice crust forming on the bottom of our frippazza, we're gonna take a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and this is gonna go in the oven at 425 for about 10 minutes. In she goes. So now that the frippazza is fully baked, we're gonna pull it out and we're gonna to top it like it's pizza. Cover it with the sauce, put some fresh mozzarella on there, one more drizzle of canola oil. And then we're gonna put this right back into the oven so that the cheese melts over the frippazza. So now that the frippazza is out of the oven, we're gonna to top it off with a sunny side up egg, a little salt and pepper, a little fresh Parmesan cheese, and some basil. Well there you have it folks, a brunch frippazza right out of the oven. One slice for Pepe, one slice for Giuseppe, and I'm gonna eat the rest. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.